body garbage. Sorry, I've been out of commission for a few days. Um, if you've seen my last video, then you know that my mom wasn't feeling too well, and um, we actually ended up in the hospital for a week or so. Um, we're back home now. She's recovering. She's still not 100%, but, um, but way better than um, what she was. So, you know, um, because of that, I've been kind of out of whack, and um, I have to make up some more um, products, um, bring you guys some more videos, send out some emails, and the whole bit. So I'm really, really backed up, but I'm kind of trying to, you know, um, come back to you guys um, in full effect while I help to take care of my mom, um, which brings me to this video. I actually made... Um, a lotion that I'm coining vanilla rose and it smells awesome it has subtle notes of vanilla strong notes of uh, geranium and it just smells awesome and it's super condensed it's not a cream um, it is a lotion um, it's about 60% 60 to 65 60 to 65 percent um, water um, and then we have um, our oils from 15 to 5 percent our preservative um, at 1 percent and um, our fragrances um, and essential oils the same so um, the percentages should be broken down um, with the oils that I'm using um, for this particular blend um, <clears throat> during the video. I believe I said it. I'm all over the place right now, you know, as you can imagine. But thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, and to those of you who have reached out and gave me your well wishes, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So um, let's get started on making this lotion and um, I'm going to leave all the links to some of the items that I'm using in the description box as well as my social media pages and my Etsy where you can purchase products from me. Um, soon my lotions will be on my Etsy but as for right now I'm still just doing the body butter made to order um, as well as the um, bath bombs and the handmade soap. Um, also, I have um, some sales that are going on right now. Um, it, one started actually on um, Halloween. It's a pre-Black Friday, pre-Thanksgiving Day sale. Um, I believe it's running um, through this entire week up until the 11th of November. And then I'm having another sale going on after that. I apologize. I have been preoccupied with my mom and I've been doing all of this by myself um, with her um, including the business so um, that's why I'm letting you guys know now but if you just go over to my Etsy um, everything should already be discounted or it should show you um, what sale is going on I'm not sure if it's a 20% discount right now or if it's just a free shipping um, but just go ahead and check that out and if you need any custom orders I'm open to do that right now as well just um, hit the custom order um, box in my Etsy or DM me on Instagram message me on Facebook or tweet me um, on Twitter and um, I'll be sure to get back to you in a timely manner so thank you guys again and um, I hope you like this video let's make some lotion Okay, but so I'm back. Right now I'm just measuring out my water and glycerin um, and my oils and then they're going to go into a hot water bath and melt down and then we're going to come back and we're going to mix them together, let them cool, add in our fragrances and essential oil and our preservative and then we're going to bottle it and this one is a little bit thicker um, so I'm going to actually use a funnel to put it in my bottle um, and just a quick note when you're doing all of this it would be great for you to already have put your oils um, and butters the containers that you're going to be using in a um, bleach bath you can use um, like a gallon of water and a cap or two full of bleach in order to um, 
keep everything sterile and clean and make sure your hands are clean because you don't want um, any more germs in this before um, than what it could be before you actually put in um, any of your um, ingredients and then mix them together because that basically defeats the purpose of a uh, preservative now doesn't it so here we have our little essential depot um, oil and this is going to be for the most part um, our main ingredient I love essential depot products um, Brambleberry is pretty good. Crafter's Choice, which is um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I love all of their products. I'm going to try to um, start doing, um, looking at some um, products at uh, New Directions and Voyager Soap and Candle Company. Um, right there, pretty good. And even though they're overseas, their prices are um, pretty good from my standpoint. Anyway. So basically, we're going to be using about one ounce of oils So um, for this batch. So it's going to be about 60... 5% I believe of distilled water, 65% that is. And then there's going to be 15% um, argan oil, 25% emulsifying wax. glycerin, 5% um, avocado oil, um, there's going to be no butters in here whatsoever. Um, we will be using vitamin E, but I like to put my vitamin E in after the fact, so you don't need to put it in now. Um, and I actually did miss one step. I mean, you can add this in with your oils if you like, but in these um, cups are actually um, the same size so I really don't have to tear and do all of that extraness but you can um, put your glycerin or honey or whatever it is into um, your water and we're just going to be using 1% glycerin no I'm sorry 5% glycerin Um, with about an inch of water and um, we're going to let those um, get heated up. Hey guys, so we're back now. As you can see, our oils have fully melted and our water has come to temperature. So we're just going to mix those together to start the emulsification process. Unfortunately, as you can see, some of the glycerin that I added to the distilled water did not fully dissolve when I had it in the water bath. So we're just going to scrape those little bits out because we all know, and if we don't know, now we know because we learn something new every day, that glycerin is a great humectant which draws moisture to the skin. So we're just going to mix this well to make sure that nothing is separated and we emulsify everything properly. Then we're going to go ahead and with our immersion or stick blender and we're going to pulse this with short quick bursts of um, mixing just so that we don't splash back any of this um, hot concoction onto our skin. We do not want to burn ourselves. We want to make our skin look lovely. So once we're done with that, we're going to allow this to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. And um, I'm going to come back with my vitamin E. It's great for the skin. And not only is it great for the skin, it's also great for our oils. It's an antioxidant, which helps um, make the oils that we're putting into our concoctions last a little bit longer. 
So after that, we're going to um, allow that to cool again once the vitamin E is fully incorporated. And we're going to come back with our um, scent mixture and our preservative. We want to make sure that this concoction is cool enough so that when we add our scent, it does not burn off. And that when we add our preservative, that it is fully functional for um, killing off or warding off any yeast, mold, or bacteria that would occur otherwise if we didn't use one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget that everything um, that I use for this will be in the description box below as well as all of my social medias and my website. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.